Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will continue our discussion with regard to the ellipse. So last time, we have videos tayo na kung saan I do the introduction for the ellipse. Na convert tayo or nag write tayo equation from general form to standard form. And yung huling video natin about the ellipse na in-upload ko is all about the graphing and or sketching the graph of an ellipse. So this time, gagawin natin yung part 2 on how to graph the equation of an ellipse na kung saan yung center natin is not in the origin. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are given here the di direction. Give the coordinates of the center, foci, vertices, and co-vertices of the ellipse. Sketch the graph and include the points. So, ano ba importance ng pag-identify the center, foci, vertices, and co-vertices of the ellipse? Important ito para mag-graph natin ng mas maayos or ng tama yung mismong equation na meron tayo. And this is the given equation. We have x plus 3 squared over 7 plus y plus 2 squared over 16 is equal to y. So now, unay natin yung center. As for the center, again, if ganda format ng standard form ng equation ng ellipse, the center is not in the origin. So paano po natin mga point center? To get the center of the ellipse, uh, let's start with this one. This is positive 3. Get the additive inverse of it and it will become negative 3. And this one, since this is positive, this is negative 2. Ito yung mismo center natin. Now, how about the orientation? Kailangan may imagine natin ano yung orientation ng ellipse na meron tayo. Kung compare mo, yung um, kasama ng x natin is lower than 16. Ibig sabihin, this is your b squared, this is your a squared. Okay? Or in, kapag ganyan yung scenario, your ellipse is like this. Yung orientation natin ay pag ganito. Ibig sabihin nito that uh, the principal axis is vertical. Okay? So, makakatulong sa atin yan, guys. Now, to find the foci, or the coordinates of your focus, or your foci, Kailangan natin kunin yung value ng a, b, and c. So as for the a, a value, you have a squared is equal to 16. Therefore, your a is equal to 4. Because the square root of a squared is a, the square root of 16 is 4. And as for the value of b, your b squared is 7. So yung b natin is a decimal. So para hindi kayo mahirapan, you can use your calculator and try to find the square root of 7. Hanapin niyo yung square root of square root of 7. The square root of 7 is 2.645751 to round it off, um, going at the chunk, 2.65. We have 2.65. Approximation lang to guys, ha? Now, since we already have this one, pero tayong ganito, Kailangan naman natin kunin yung value ng ating C. Okay, yung value ng ating C. As for the value of C, you have C is equal to the square root of A squared minus the square root of B squared. Kung saan, this is C is equal to 16 minus 7. Tama? 16 minus 7, in which the answer is square root of 9 where in your C is equal to 3. Ito yung value ng C natin. Now, let's start sketching the graph of the ellipse. We will start with the center. So the location of negative 3 comma negative 2 is at quadrant number 3. So 1, 2, 3. This is negative 3. This is negative 2. Ito yung location. This is the location of our center. We have negative 3 comma negative 2. Now, given your ating center, this is your center, we will use the value of C to locate the coordinates of your foci or your location of your foci. Your ating C is equal to 3. So we will move 
And dahil magbibigay sa your orientation is this one. Ibig sabihin, yung inyong principal axis ay dito. This is your center, this is your foci. So, ang movement natin ngayon to go sa ating foci is upward and downwards lang. So, let's move on. So, yung C natin is 3. So, we will move 1, 2, and 3 units. This is your F sub 1. Ang coordinates nito ay negative 3, negative 3, comma, 1. Para naman sa second focus natin, we need to move from the center 3 units. 1, 2, and 3. Ito yung location ngayon. Ito yung location ngayon ng ating F sub 2 na kung saan ang coordinates nito ay um, negative 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. So, lagyan natin dito, we have negative 3, comma, 1, and negative 3, comma, negative 5. Now, after the foci, punta naman tayo sa ating um, sa ating mismong uh, vertices. Yung vertices natin ay nandito sa taas ang sawa. So, what you will do, makapansin nyo, ang ating A is 4. Your A is 4. So, ginagawa doon from the focus 4 units, ay from the center 4 units. Pero, makapansin nyo, difference lang ng inyong A sa kanilang CA1. So, from the focus, mag-add lang tayo ng 1. Ito ngayon yung location ng inyong vertex number 1, which is, ang kanyang coordinates ay negative 3, comma, 2. Tapos dito naman, mag-add din tayo ng 1. So dito, yung kanyang location, baka nagpunta. Yung location niya ay dito lang. Ito yung vertex number 2, na kung saan the coordinates are um, negative 3, comma, negative 6. Next, after the vertices, yung co-vertices naman tayo. We will use the value of B. The value of B. From the center, mag-move tayo ng approximately 2.65 units. Ito ha. So, 1, 2, and then half nito. Ay, lagpas ng konting ng half. Yan. Ito yung location ng uh, W sub 1 natin. Again, I'm using W to represent the cover vertices. So, ito ang location natin. Ang location natin ngayon ay um, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 5.65. Okay? So, the coordinates are negative 5.65 comma negative 2. Okay? As for the second cover says Mag-move tayo ng 2.5 units. 1, 2.5. Nandito yung kanyang location. Ito. Okay? Nandiyan yung kanyang location. Now, as for the location, guys, ang coordinates naman nito ay um, 0 0.35. Tama? Mag-subtract as tayo. 0 0.35. 0... W sub 2 is 0 point, negative 0 0.35 comma negative 2. Ito na mismo. Lagyan natin dito for the co-vertices. We have negative 5.65 comma negative 2, tapos negative 0 0.35, comma negative 2. Ito na mismo yan. Kung meron ka na center, foci, saka cover disease, you can sketch the graph of the ellipse. Again, yung orientation natin ay pa-vertical. So, ang itsura nito ay pa ganito. Okay. So, again, tama ba ako? Tama naman. So, sketch natin. Uh, 
I hope na maging sakto yung ating graph. Yan. Ito yung mismong itsura ng ating ellipse. Okay? So, pwede kayo mag-draw ng line dito. Draw kayo ng line. Yan. Pa-vertical siya. And I hope guys, natuto kayo sa video natin. Though, so, pasansya na sa ating uh, pag-sketch kung paano maggawa ng, ng, ano, ng perfectly drawn ellipse na kaya. So, I hope na natuto kayo dito. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! -bye.